This is my fifth month covering the Earth 2 platform, and this is by far the largest weekly update I have ever had. So absolutely stick around, guys, while we jump into all of the news and updates going on this week in the world of Earth 2. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Bull Combo. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I'm coming at you guys with my weekly Earth 2 update. But before we get started, as always, if you want to support the channel, you can do so using any of the support options listed down below in the description, or you can help out by liking the video, subscribing to this channel, and hitting that bell to get notified when I post new videos. All right, guys, so let's jump right into this weekly update. Like I said, this is by far the most topics I've ever had to cover in a weekly update. I'm gonna to try to get through them as quickly as possible while trying to also be as informative as possible. I know some of you guys use this as your weekly updates for what's going on in E2, so I wanna make sure I give you guys all the information I can. So it looks like resources are almost here, guys. Last night, or early this morning, it looks like resources went live on the test site, or at least a preliminary version of the resource feature. You can see from this screenshot here that now when tiles are selected, it does show the resources available underneath said tiles. Guys, this is a really big change. Obviously, we've been waiting for resources to become a thing. I think we all assumed that Essence was going to be the first type of resource gathering based off of the Phase 2 plan that had been talked about, but it's looking like they may incorporate some of the other resources earlier on than we were anticipating. Uh, that could also be a byproduct of the fact that they had to rework the entire Essence model because of the speculated GoChain blockchain migration. So because of that, Essence might be taking a little longer than normal, and in turn, they're rolling out these additional resources uh, to give us something to collect in the meantime until Essence is finished. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be before this hits the live version of the site. Could be on the test site for weeks or even months before it does that, or it could be on the live site tomorrow. So we're really going to have to see exactly how long it takes to roll this feature out. Nevertheless, it's really exciting to see that we are very, very close to resource gathering, guys. All right, guys, this is a really big one, and after you hear me talk about this, you're probably going to race over to your Earth 2 profile. So we saw that recently they made the username field more uniformed and added a 64-character limit to it. I saw Earth 2 Meta tweet about this yesterday, and I wasn't quite sure what he was referring to, but after a little bit further discussion, it looks like we've discovered that the usernames are, in fact, unique guys so this means that once you've taken a username it cannot be reused this means now is the time to make sure you go in and get that username that you want and that you need because these very well could be our usernames and our gamer tags for later phases of the earth 2 platform i was actually talking with earth 2 odyssey about this yesterday he told me he thought that they were unique i asked him to try changing his username to the bull combo he did and when he does if you change your username to something that's already taken it automatically appends numbers to the end of it so he did it he changed it to the bull combo and you know, sure as heck, numbers were appended to the end of it, so it didn't allow him to reuse the username I already had. So it definitely looks like usernames are unique now, guys. This isn't to be confused with EPLs. EPLs are specific to each property. The feature I'm talking about is specific to your username as a whole and to your account as a whole. So whatever username you have selected for your account, this is just like the username or gamer tag on Xbox or PlayStation or any of the games that we play. Each person can only have one of that username. No one can have a duplicate username and uh, that's really the way it is, guys. So make sure you go in there, select your proper username, select the username that you want to keep forever. Try not to steal someone else's, that's kind of shady, don't do that. Don't go in and like make yourself the real Randy Chavez or something, that's kind of it's kind of dumb. But you know, make sure obviously claim the name that you think that you want to keep uh, and that represents you well and that's gonna represent your profile for, you know, possibly the next few years or even longer. So we had some huge purchases this week in the world of Earth 2. Not one, but two different $50,000 purchases, or purchases that totaled $50,000. The first purchase was the Vatican, uh, and that kind of steamrolled things into the next purchase that was the Kremlin and the Forbidden Kingdom. Props to Earth 2 Odyssey for scoring that. That is a pretty huge deal. $50,000 is a lot to spend on properties, but I think Earth 2 Odyssey has a pretty good idea of what he's doing. And I think it was really cool that he was able to score those, so big props to him on that. Big props to everyone who made those big purchases this week. It's a big deal, guys, and it just shows that the platform's not dead at all. When $100,000 can be injected into the platform in 24 hours, uh, that just really shows how much interest there still is, especially in the larger properties. Uh, and that just shows how much potential people think that these properties are going to have long term. So big buys, very cool. Again, congrats to Earth 2 Odyssey, and hopefully we have more big purchases like that in the future that we can celebrate. When Phase 2. So you might have noticed recently that some people had changed their usernames in Discord as well as on Twitter to when phase two. And this was kind of a concerted effort put on uh, as a result of a discussion with several of the content creators. Um, 
The conversation was led by Nameless from Alpha Kingdom and Guidebook Gaming. You guys probably know him from the Guidebook Gaming stream. But he basically expressed some concern over the shifting timelines of Phase 2. So there's basically an effort in place to get some more clarity and some more transparency from the dev team. We aren't even necessarily wanting things to be pushed faster. We don't even necessarily need a definitive date on when something's going to be released. We're more so asking for more transparency. Let us know where things are. Let us know how things are progressing. Let us know a general timeline of when you think certain things might be completed along the way. Give us a weekly dev update, something to really communicate where the platform is on a weekly basis and give people some semblance of confidence or trust in the platform and the dev team and the progress that they're making. So. That's what that effort is, guys. If you see it, don't be alarmed. It's just the content creators trying to uh, to send a message to the devs saying, we want a little bit more communication and a little bit better transparency on exactly what's going on here. The Earth 2 silent owner. So apparently this information has actually been out in the wild for a few months now, but it's just really recently been focused on. And from what we've seen, it looks like there is a silent partner that owns 50% of the shares of Earth 2 or of the company currently. Uh, the guy's name is Tony Murray. And from everything that we can see, it looks like he may be some sort of angel investor. It seems like he's pretty hands off, all things considered. We haven't seen him involved in any of the dev conversations, live streams, or anything like that. So we can only assume that, again, he's an angel investor or some sort of silent partner that does not wish to be involved in the day-to-day -day activities and is more so invested in the long-term success of the platform. I think this is really curious. I think Earth 2 Odyssey did a really good job covering this in his video. I feel like I've talked about him a lot today, so Earth 2 Odyssey, maybe you can just jump on the channel and become part of this channel. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, I think he talked about it really well. I think he made some really good points on it. So I definitely recommend checking that video out, but I really just wanted to cover the fact that, that it has been confirmed and that we do now know that Shane is a 50% owner of Earth 2 and that there is another person that owns 50% of the company. Will that change eventually? Possibly. Will Shane try to buy a couple extra shares to increase his percentage to over 50%? Depending on his full level of investment in the platform, that is very much a possibility. We'll just have to see exactly what happens there, but I really did think that this silent partner, this silent 50% owner was very interesting, and I definitely thought it was worth covering in this weekly update. Signal bids. All right, guys, so if you watch the video I posted on Tuesday talking about the most anticipated features that Earth 2 is yet to release, you'll know that a messaging system or an in-app or an in-platform messaging tool was one of the most widely requested features. We still don't have that. So the community has kind of taken it upon themselves to create something called signal bids. So if you see someone bid on your property and they bid for 0.11 or for 11 cents, that's a signal bid. Basically what that means is that the person's trying to initiate some sort of bidding agreement or some sort of bidding deal on the property. At that point, basically you can submit a counter offer for what you feel the property is worth. And then you can start coming to some sort of agreement via offers and bids on exactly how much you're gonna sell the property for, or if you even want to sell the property. But just wanted to cover that guys. If you see an 11 cent bid, that is what's called a signal bid. And that's basically the person's way of signaling to you that they'd like to work with you on a deal to purchase the property. You can action that or act on that how you want. I know some people aren't gonna to wanna to sell their properties and might just ignore it. Other people might wanna go in and make a counter offer and kinda of get that get that deal rolling. So just keep that in mind if you see the 11 cent bids that that is their purpose and it's not someone trying to lowball you or scam you out of your properties. You should probably go ahead and submit a counter offer for what you think the proper value of the property is and then you guys can go from there. I really like this idea, guys. I think the community time and time again has taken it upon themselves to address things when the Earth 2 platform isn't able to. We've seen it with the third party marketplaces, we're seeing it here with the signal bids, and I'm sure we're going to see it with things down the road. So again, very cool and just a very cool project by the community and a cool way for the community to come together and come up with something. E2 the boss was paid. Alright guys, so I don't think this actually happened within the last week, but I have not covered it and I haven't seen anyone talk about it. But I wanted to mention that E2TheBoss tweeted that he has received his full withdrawal amount from Earth 2. Again, I hadn't seen anyone covering this or talking about an updated status on his withdrawal request, but based off of his Twitter post, it looks like he has received all of the money that he had requested from the Earth 2 platform, guys. So this probably should instill a little bit of confidence in just the withdrawal process as a whole. I know they're going through some serious issues right now with delays and stuff like that, and I really think it comes down to their support team and the fact they need to improve that. Uh, but seeing the fact that he was able to withdraw like $85,000 from the platform, that's encouraging. I know it did take them several weeks or even months. I do believe that was because they had to review all of the purchases and transactions that went on in his account. And I can't even begin to imagine how many transactions there were. That said, he got paid. So the controversy there is over. It looks like he's pretty happy with the end result. He was out there talking kindly about Earth 2 and sort of promoting the platform again. So... It's ironic how people's opinions change once they get what they want. Nevertheless, it was good that he got paid. 
uh, and it's good that we've gotten past that and can move on to other things. So E2 the Boss has been paid, guys. It's a big deal. It's probably the largest withdrawal from the platform thus far, and it just shows that whether you're withdrawing $500 or $85,000, it is technically possible. The last thing I wanted to mention here, guys, is actually what I covered yesterday in my really short update, and that was regarding the Earth 2 fake cryptocurrency. I'm going to cover it again today because I believe today is actually the release date of this coin. So in case you didn't see my video yesterday, a group of people created a fake cryptocurrency on this website called Earth2.finance. It's called the Earth2 coin, and they basically created the site in such a way that it appears as if this coin is directly related to Earth2, and it is not. There is no direct correlation between this coin and the official Earth2 platform or the devs or the dev team. I believe Shane tweeted as much the other day, basically stating unless something's confirmed or announced by one of the official members or one of the official social medias for Earth2, it is not official, and so do not treat it as something Earth2 official. So I just want to remind you guys that this Earth2 cryptocurrency is not an official Earth2 cryptocurrency. It is literally just a coin modeled after Earth2. That said, the site is kind of riddled with grammatic and spelling errors, which on its own isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but the verbiage in the site is definitely sketchy. The way that they're almost talking you into a forcefully investing in this and how Shane will probably have to accept that this is going to be the Earth2 cryptocurrency and just some really weird stuff being mentioned, guys. So approach it cautiously. Uh, before I even knew about some of that stuff, I said to approach it cautiously, but now that I've seen that, I would definitely recommend keeping your distance from this unless you have really, really, really high risk tolerance and just are, are happy watching money burn right in front of you. So I also saw someone comment on that video saying that like one person owns 75% of the coins or something like that. It could be the dev wallet. Nevertheless, I don't know what's going on there, but this is not an official Earth2 coin. I don't want you guys to think this is an official Earth2 coin. It's not related to Earth2. It's not related to any of the devs, any of the corporate leaders of the company, and it's not related to any of us content creators, even though they mention a few of us there. So just wanted to finish off by letting you guys know that. That was all the updates I had this week, guys. It is, I've been talking here for 17 minutes. Hopefully I can shorten this video down for you guys and keep it a little short and sweet, get you all the updates you need without having to waste too much of your time. As always, guys, I'm curious to hear what you think about this. This was a huge update. We had so many different things we covered here. So many changes, so many great quality of life improvements, so many just great developments, some interesting developments as well. I think the next few months are really gonna be interesting for the platform and I'm really curious to see how things progress. Other than that, I wanna thank you all for checking out this video. I wanna thank you guys for the awesome constant support on the channel, it's really appreciated, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, an excellent weekend. And until next time, we'll see you soon.